Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Alrighty, when we left off, we were mainly just looting this area and uh, doing what we could to make sure we looted it as thoroughly as possible. And looks like there was a thing up the wall there, or at least up inside the building that I can... Ah! There's also this here that I can use to loot a little bit. So... Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to plot out the path here. I'm thinking BD is probably the good one to start with. So, BD 5-5 five, 5-5 five, 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 1-C 5-5. Five, five. There we go! Okay. That worked out beautifully. Can't complain. Up we go. There it is. There's the thing I was looking at and seeing right here jack into this and once again we're doing this okay this one might not work out the way i hope hmm but still worth a shot okay definitely not gonna work out to do all of them but I did the majority that all I can hope for perfect could not have done any better if I tried I wonder if I can I can <laughs> I can break this not easy to do, but it's something I can do. It's interesting, at least. I could have just done this to get in. <clears throat> that was an option, I guess. Okay. Yeah. And another connection. And then with this one, I guess we're done with doing all of these. At least for a little while. Hmm. Five five one C B D B D. There we go. Again, we got the majority of them. One in three. That's good enough for me. Alrighty. All right, and with all of that done, we won't be doing Ghost Town next. Because uh, that's the main mission. Uh, what, will we be do what will we be doing instead? Gigs, rides, completed. Wait, rides. Uh, uh, this was in one of the updates, I guess. Split up the side jobs stuff into actual side jobs gigs and the ones that are to get cars okay all right very cool gigs are shark in the water and freedom of the press okay 
Let's look at the map real quick. Where am I at? In here. Okay. It's somewhere in here. That's where I'm at. Ah, the assault in progress is over here. And I'm still having to finish the shark in the water. I have to leave the area. So once I'm done with that, I then head to the assault in progress. Okay. First, I want to make sure I'm getting everything before I leave. No reason not to loot everything I can. Yeah, okay. We're good. And here we go. I wanted... There we go. That's not what I wanted. Problem? You got rid of it. I'm happy. The client's even happier. Good. Good work, B. Get closed. Okay, how do I... I'm doing the double press, which should have been what puts it away. There we go. <sighs> it's only after I complain about it. All right. And the assault in progress is down here. Huh. Lucas Walker, no affiliation. Huh. I understand the situation and I take full responsibility. Um. You understand the situation and take full responsibility. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> he just sits there. Let's me do it. Whoop, okay. Well done. What do you mean, well done? Okay, well, that's going to be a problem. I'll need to wait. I'm going to do this quietly, or as quietly as possible. I need to wait for this one to move. Or... Or they're all online. I can do breach bro uh, breach protocol. That would work. It's probably a good idea. All right. So one C. Huh. That won't necessarily work the way I hoped. Okay, so I'm going to have to do another move to make sure I can do the sequence. 1C, E9, 5-5. Good. Done. And with that, it's a lot cheaper to do reboot optics, which is what I'm going to have to do. And there we go. Nope. There we go. I didn't end up working out the way I hoped. Whoops, so much for being quiet. There we go. Got you. Got you. Well, alright. Okay. Melee was not going to work. At least not in the way I was trying to do it. Whoop. <laughs> that didn't work out necessarily how I hoped. But hey. 
Could have been worse. I guess. Could have been a lot worse. And force open. There we go. Could I have done that? Yes. Would it have been loud and probably set off this whole thing anyway? Probably, yeah, too. Oh, well. Hey. Okay. Hey, it's Sandra Dorset, the one you saved from the scavengers. After what happened, I get the feeling I can trust you. Would you be up for retrieving a little something for me? I'll pay, of course, but it's kind of a sensitive matter, so I'd rather not get a fixer involved. Trying to cut out a fixer is not a good idea in Night City. It's my data bank. The scavengers must have taken it while they were keeping me there. It was still connected to the net, so I traced it before they caught on and switched it off. I'm sending you the coordinates. Call me if you find it. I'd be super grateful. Data's confidential. I trust you won't access it. So you want me to pick up the data bank that was stolen off of you while you were uh, unconscious in a iced tub because I think this was the same lady and then you don't want me to look at it okay alright makes sense I can do that full disclosure oh, did I loot this body or is there something else or something else. Ah! The weapon. That's what's up. That makes sense. Okay. You did... I shot off her arm. Oh. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. Alright. Well. They're all dealt with. That's the important thing. Oh, it was an ad. That was what the kaboom was. Petrochem. Yeah. Okay, Saratog. Don't know what that is. Ooh. Birthday present for Shiro. Cool. Let's read this real quick. Went up a street cred level. Nice. Happy birthday, you crazy motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> Sending you our best wishes and a little present. You got glitter. You've got glitter. Don't do it all in one go. And other goodies. Hope your party fucking slaps. We'll try to drop by, but can't promise anything. They're making us do overtime at the lab to pump out this glitter shit. Demands off the goddamn charts. Well, I mean, makes sense considering it's a... Very addictive drug. Try it and you'll know why. All the best from your tombs on Revenge Street. Yeah. About that. Okay. And the rest of them I'll take. And we're good. That one isn't terrible, I guess. Okay. How is my inventory? How weighed down am I? 156 out of 280? That ain't too bad. Not worried about it yet. Again. Again we're going through this. <sighs> Some of the buttons, man. This is a new controller, too, so... Well, new-ish. Came with the Series X. I just haven't used it because I have an Elite. But... There's no reason she should be acting up this badly. No reason at all. Alright. I'm gonna make sure I loot everything. Oh, I guess there is a thing to hack in here. I just missed it. That or... Uh, that's what happened. It's saying it's on the same level as me when in fact it's just a little bit further up. That makes sense. 
Okay. Whoa, this one's a big one. Oh, big boy. Big boy. Uh, 1C, 7A. Okay, so once I finish out one, it basically gives me one of them into three. And then finishing out three helps me finish out two. Okay, cool. Just need to make sure I'm paying attention to where I'm going with it. All right. Ta ta. Ha 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 ha. Booyah. Perfect. Perfection. Now we get out of here. And we're done. At least we're done with this area. Yeah. Regina Jones. Mizutani Shion. That's looking for a new home. Oh, look at that. Nice. Won't lie, might be a little beaten up. Previous chick who owned it liked to lead foot the pedal. Do I understand that one? <laughs> But the engine, suspension, brakes, everything that matters, all of that's in prime condition. Rides like a pure dream. This baby's a classic and a fast one at that. Perfect for losing the 5-0. Oh, and the flooring might be a little stained. Coffee? Blood? Hard to tell. Yeah, I'm okay with that. You can always get it detailed. You know, fix that right up. Or at least close to as possible. Alrighty. Now that that's done, let's look at what's next and close. A side job and another ins another assault in progress. I was going to say insult ass progress. That's not right. <laughs> insult ass. That's, that's, that's dumb. Okay. Anyway, there's also this here. It's undiscovered. Huh. Oh, there's that Mizutani Shion that she just let me know about. Oh, and I have a decent amount of money. I'm sitting at uh, 132000 here. Damn. All right. Uh, Kick back and have a drink. Side job. I have a lot of missions that have popped up around this area here. Man. Man, oh man, oh man. Okay, um. Mainly just to get them all finished. I'll just go up here and do this undiscovered here. I'm just gonna continue our side job uh, grind for now, because if anything, it gives me a chance to make money and get loot that I might not get otherwise. Okay. Guess they were uh, hearing all the gunshots and figured it was closer than it actually was. Uh, Kuroshi. Well, whoever they are aren't doing too good. Well, at least the one the other guy's trying to keep stable. Alrighty. 200 meters. That ain't too far. I could run that. Oh, they moved the stamina bar. So it's under the health bar. Okay, that's... That's handy. Hey, V. The NCPD got a call about a cyber psycho and actually sent a patrol this time. Oh. But it's been a few hours with no report back. Either those cops got scared and bounced, or... Anyway, could you check it out for me? Be much appreciated. Okay. Oh, so this is what the mission was about. Demons of War. Okay. If he zeroed the badges, then there's no way in hell Max Tack will bring him in alive. For the best chance he's got at getting out of this in one piece. Alright, so non-lethal, and the closest I got is... <laughs> uh, K. 
Okay. A racketeer for the tiger claws. Is this the assault in progress? I'm assuming this is the assault in progress because they're... Yep, they're right next to each other. Alright, well, I'll deal with this first, I guess. Just to make sure I mark off all the problem children in the area. Oh, they are able to be breach protocol. Good. Makes that easy. Alright. Salt in progress, neutralize the perps, and secure evidence. Well, that shouldn't be hard. Uh, let's see. They're weak to fire, which I can do. And resistant to everything else. Alright. And do a short circuit. Should make it go faster. There we go. Well, I figured they would identify the body, considering that it only just happened. Yep. And back up, back up, back up. And... I really don't feel like this today. Yeah, well. Too bad. Ooh, that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. Okay, so you're dealt with. Okay. Overheat. And that's almost done. There it goes. And now short circuit. The combo should knock him down. Good. Well, Malcolm Coleman is about to walk out of this free and clear. Okay, this is almost done. And overheat. Net running fuck has some tricks up his sleeve. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do have a lot of good tricks up my sleeve. Down you go. No, you're right. You didn't. You're good. You're good. You're free, bud. Get out of here. You're fine. And archived conversation. Counterfeit documents. These guys are still alive. And they look identical. Eh. Eh. Okay, let's read this real quick. Koichi. People, listen up. Glitter's flying so fast, starting to run low on raw materials. Gotta act. Now. Start with the chemical warehouses. Plenty of those in town. One with the least security first, especially in Kabuki. Things we need most. Nitrous oxide tanks... Atenolol, epinephrine, well that makes sense, lysergic acid, not sure what that is, time to step up, orders coming straight from the top, alright, welp, baseball bat, huh? golden chain, crafting spec for the penetrator, Right, okay. Not bad. Eh, not bad. Not bad. Caution flammable materials. 100 cylinders nitrous oxide to be stored in the warehouse, but caution, deterioration has increased fire risk. I'm presuming these are all those barrels. Oh, sorry, dude. But you have been avenged. That's all we can ask for. Technically. 
Okay. And we'll get that. That can't be opened. Just making sure I'm getting everything. All right. Oh, wait. Just noticed. Aha. Come on. Oh, what's up here? More components. Good. And jack in. Perfect. E9, BD, BD. Hmm. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I could do this. If I go after V3, then V2 will be finished. And then I would have enough time to do E9 BD after that. Just need to make sure I'm paying attention to where I'm going with it. Okay. Let's see, one, see. Okay. I think I might be able to make this work. Key phrase might. <laughs> Key phrase is might. Okay. Let's see. BD, BD. E9, BD. Perfect. <laughs> Love it when a plan comes together. Alright, down I go. Whoop. Oh, did I not loot? Oh, I didn't loot this one. And there we go. And it's all good. Jeez, man. And... Alrighty. Good enough. Perfect. And now let's help deal with that cyber psycho. Looks like it leads me over to either down here. No idea what's going on over there. Okay. Yeah, it does lead me down here. A victim. A maelstrom. Uh, blocked because they're offline. Okay. So overheat. And do... Short circuit. There we go. mess with them from up here because it's easy Come on out, you little nah why would I do that when this is easier hackins for pussies is it now it's doing exactly what I want it to which is absolutely fucking y'all up and you're about to go. Bye. And boom. Yep. Gotta wait a little bit. Come on. Insufficient RAM. Damn it. I'm actually gonna have to get my hands dirty on this one. Oh, come on. There we go. You're welcome, citizen. I've saved you from... Oh! Owie. Well, hello there. Bye. <laughs> Jeez. Welp. 
That worked out about as well as I could have hoped. The other guy got to ran off. Got to run off. Blah, blah, blah. English is hard. But. Alright. I think they were all dealt with. Uh, wait, is that fully reloaded? It is not. Okay, that's what I thought. Good. And you're still alive. Not more. Not no more you're not. But. Alright. Damn. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Alright. Time to head up. Oh. It's up there. I thought it was down here. Well, that's what I get for assuming. Okay. Guess I gotta walk my happy ass back up. Guess this way works. That isn't good. Skill shard for annihilation. And a whole bunch of other stuff. Interesting. What? Oh, Jesus! Whew! All right. Okay. All right. Um. Backpack. I said I got a shard. So is that? I'm not sure if it was automatically added or not. It looks like I have a whole bunch of new items anyway. I'll deal with all of this later. Because, <laughs> boy, do I have a lot of loot I either need to figure out or break down. Archived conversation between Isaiah and Pete. Hey, Pete. Fix the turret. Seriously? Seriously. Replace the capacitors, ferrite core, quartz, resonators, and voila. Unfortunately, it's not all the way there yet. Still the safeguards left to bypass. Could you maybe give me a little hint? Remember you did something like this once? Right, yeah. After restart, hold the button on the left side of the panel for five seconds. Then in the command input, enter current user slash add admin equal yes. To be honest, that's it. Should be up and running. Nova, huge thanks, man. Ah, oh, wait, Isaiah, big goof on my part there. You need to tag active yes on the end of that command, or else it'll still read you as hostile. Hope I didn't catch you too late with that one. Let me know if it all shakes out all right, okay? Z-Man? Oh, it was too late. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Well, that's what happened. Okay. Hmm. So this isn't going to be a direct way up. I'll have to go that way. Still. Damn. Alright. Nothing. Uh, nothing doing. Still needs to get done that way. So I need to run up here. I guess. To get up there. The stairs. That makes sense. And can cross over from here. Oh no. no! I was wrong. I have to go up the road here. Uh, okay. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> My inherently bad sense of. <laughs> 
<laughs> direction is going to screw me on this. I'm just going to follow the trail, yellow brick road. Impressive trick. <laughs> Alrighty, it's gonna take a while. Ooh, place I can sell stuff. Well, that helps deal with most of my inventory buildup. Give me a second, I will be back. Alrighty, there we go. We're all done with that. At least as far as it's going to be useful to me. And man, did they nerf the amount of money you get out of uh, selling food. <laughs> I know they did it, but I didn't think it was that bad. But holy crap, is it bad. But, I mean, could have been worse, I guess. At least I get something out of it still. But, just not as worth it as it used to be. Whoa. Whoa. I mean, you're right, but... Damn! Whoa! He knows what he's doing. Oh, boy. Not letting him get a chance to get a beat on me. So he knows exactly what I'm trying to do. Invasion! Invasion. Okay, so... Overheat. It might be enough to bring him down. And non-lethally as well. Just barely. But it did it. Oh boy. What the? Breach protocol. Jesus. Okay. And done. Okay, whoop. Oh boy. He's at 0%. There we go. Neutralized. And he's not dead. At least I hope he's not. No, he's still alive. Good. Good. Reload. And we're golden. Alrighty. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. But yeah, you see how much money you get out of this food stuff now? It's basically more worth it just to eat it instead of the let it sit in your inventory. But, still get something out of it. Search the area to collect information. Old Edge Runner. It's a decent jacket. Alright. Whoops. Helps if I hit the right button, though. And Nekomata. Explains the sniping. High caliber bullet wound in the back. Yeah. Common item components. Okay. Alright. And CPD. Sorry, I didn't get here sooner for you, bud. There's not much else I could do. Alright, I don't think there's anything else. Caliber bullet wound in the back. Tequila Especial. Uh, John and Deng. Yo, Matt Leo says hi. You're in the same unit, Militech. Matt's alive? Yeah, why wouldn't he be? Saw him step right onto a mine in Pan Panama. 
Ugh. <laughs> trying to read that and then say it at the same time. It made me piss off, Lou. Okay. So I'm step on a mine in Panama. Shit, I thought he didn't make it. How's he holding up these days? Fine, I guess. Still has nightmares. Takes a lot for it. But who of us really has it better, yeah? That vet life, huh? Yeah. Anyless, homeless, fucked in a war no one understood. Yeah, Tomb, what can I say? Not gonna get better either. Yeah, I know, I know. At least it's good to know there's someone to talk to the talk the old days with and not be alone. America after the war. The turbulent years of 2024 to 2035. At the end of the Fourth Corporate War, in order to establish relative order under the federal government, President Elizabeth Kress imposed martial law on NUS member states and nationalized the domestic arms manufacturing giant Militech. Preoccupied with her own internal issues, most of Europe and Japan paid little attention to developments in North America. Back in the 1990s, corporations had already begun aggressively purchasing huge swaths of arable land from farmers. Yeah, yeah they did. Still a problem to this day. Those who were left with no choice but to sell eventually found each other and organized into larger groups, or clans, to improve their odds of survival. Looking for reliable work opportunities meant staying on the move and often specializing transport contracts. So that's how the nomads came to be. Okay. Yet once the war settled down, their convoys became the single reliable safe method of interstate shipping. In other words, th this time of crisis and adaptation played a major role in the emergence of the so-called nomad social class. Called it. Meanwhile, in the 2040s, Netwatch created an immense firewall dubbed the Black Wall to partition a safe part of the net for human use and curb the threat of rogue artificial intelligences in cyberspace. At the organization's discretion, humanity was forced to sacrifice its access to inestimately valuable resources and knowledge for the sake of net security. That would explain why the uh, internet as it's known today is so radically different in this game. Easy beef. Tomato juice and a flare. Water chrome and blood. The fourth corporate war. It is truly remarkable that the large scale the large scale large scale bloodshed of the fourth corporate war began at first as a simple rivalry between two ocean exploitation corporations, Sino and Otak. Both companies vied for the controlling stake in the failing IHA Corporation. OTEC commissioned Militech to secure its business interests and perform certain special operations. Uh -huh. Sino, in turn, signed a cooperation agreement with the Arasaka Corporation with a similar aim. When circumstances at last called for both colossal and prideful security corporations to clash in open combat, the Fourth Corporate War had officially begun. Yet, as is usually the case with corporate conflicts, the onset proved subtle. Arasaka disables a military transport, Militech allegedly, eliminates a high-ranking official of an Arasaka client, both sides engage in frequent sabotage and data theft operations, netrunners from both sides infiltrate data forts to sow confusion, and gather intel, and cause chaos in the stock markets. Well, be better than what we currently got. Being completely detached from what the market actually is. Though none would have thought it possible in those early months, the Arasaka Militech conflict truly jeopardized the stability of the world economy, making the threat of complete economic collapse all too real. We're already there now. For this reason, Netwatch introduced a communications embargo on both corporations. This did little to slow the conflict's pace, however. While Sino and Otec had unilaterally reached a settlement and reached an understanding through peace talks between the two of them, tensions between Arasaka and Militech continued to rise. The separation from the ocean dispute marks the beginning of the Fourth Corporate War's second phase, the so-called Shadow War. Military clashes between Militech and Arasaka were notoriously bloody, brutal, and without mercy. They waged their most damaging campaigns on the net. 
Arasaka and Militech netrunners launched attacks with the help of viruses that were often highly experimental. What's more, they created lethal ICE, ICE measures and AI-like programs that could lurk in dark corners of the net for long periods to launch strikes at the most opportune times. By the second half of 2022... Arasaka and Militech entered the final phase of the conflict where both sides used every resource and strategy at their disposal. The hot war had begun. Around this time, the net that the world had known for years ceased to exist, and mercenaries hired by both corporations were slaughtered in open warfare by cutting-edge weapons technology. Then, in the war's most shocking and iconic turning point, the coup de grace came when an unknown group of mercenaries detonated a nuclear device at Arasaka Night City's headquarters. Talking about Johnny here. Interesting. Were they hired by Militech for that? Or was it assumed so? Shortly after the blast, bowing under increased pressure from the Japanese government, Arasaka laid down its arms and withdrew from many of its strategic positions, but most notably in Night City. Victory belonged to Militech, but it came at a heavy cost. Search for clues. Okay, I'm going to keep doing that. Although, to be fair, all of that reading material is plenty enough clues to let me know that this guy definitely, definitely had a hell of a time. Use this. Rush order urgent. Dan, I need that stuff for my head. I really, really, really need it. I'm out. Starting to think some desperate shit on loop. I know I owe you, but fuck, man. I need it, and I need it today, you know? Whatever you want in exchange, man, I'll do anything, okay? I gotta kill, steal, whatever. Please. Due to your repeated defaults on your payments, we are now forced to foreclose on the property for which the loan was taken out. Milagro Terrace 12. Vacate the premises within three working... Three working days? Clear to kill system? Whoa. Damn. That is... Horrible. PTSD shield policy lapsed. Due to the termination of your employment at Mercenary Solutions Incorporated, your health insurance policy PTSD shield has been canceled effective immediately. He was clearly dealing... Oh my god. You are welcome to use the government's veterans care program and the appointment wait time is 756 days. It's basically two fucking years. To register for an appointment, please send the following text message help. <laughs> that's a, that's not even a slap to the face. That's a shotgun to the balls. Dude. Oh, that's fucked. Gina. Gina. Oh. This poor dude, man. Our psycho's out cold, but alive. Transferring you the data I gathered. Looks like it was an ex-merc working for some corp. Soon as he stopped being useful, they tossed him out on the street. Guy kept his combat implants, had PTSD, stopped taking his meds. You can fill in the blanks. I sure did. Thanks for going the extra mile. So a badge friend of mine just sent over his data. Guy's head was a mess. Must have taken four times doses just to make it through the day. Eventually, the corp cut off his health insurance, the cash dried up, and then the ticking time bomb exploded. But was it really from the implant lance alone? Who the hell knows? Either way, your eddies are in the air. Thanks for taking care of this.
the sad part is there's stories like this that are happening in real life anyway. Like, without implants, like what you get in this game. There's stories like that right now. Jesus, it's so fucked. Man, it's fucked. God damn. Is this... Was this guy also... Oh, jeez, he was even that far out. Just, just broke. Just outright snapped, man. Alright. Well, on that rather depressing note, I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat, playing games and... Doing my damnedest to help the streets of Night City be a little safer, but uh, sometimes you come across depressing stories that really it could have turned out different if someone had some sort of level of compassion, but some people uh, have given that up for the promise of money instead. What a hell of a world. For you.